Hey guys, thank you for joining us for part two of this charcoal hibiscus and sea salt coconut soap. If you missed part one, please check that out. Now, let's see how everything turned out. Yay. Okay, so here we are for the unmolding of this soap. I let this soap sit for about 12 hours or so. Honestly, I didn't wait too much longer because I noticed that with pure coconut oil soap, it tends to harden really quickly. And what I've done before with um, pure coconut oil soap is waited too long to cut it where when I went to cut it, it basically was breaking in pieces. And um, I just decided that I'd rather cut the coconut oil soap a little before it's completely hardened rather than waiting until it's too hard to cut. So like this soap, for instance, did have a few soft spots in it, but again, I'd rather it be just a little under than over, overly hard. But anyway, how'd you think it turned out? I really like the two tones and the swirls. I would have liked more swirl, but I still really love the rustic look of the soap. I really love the way it smells also. It turned out really good. Yeah, I'm just showing you some variations of the soap with the different tones and the swirls and the fruit peels incorporated in there. I think it just looks really pretty, especially the hibiscus powder at the top. I love that burgundy color at the top. And I left these bars to cure for about seven days. Okay, now if you can remember the chemical I showed you earlier, that's what I'm gonna use to test the soap to make sure that there's no more lye remaining in the soap. This will tell us if the saponification process has finished and it will turn pink when there is still left lye left. As you can see, the solution is remaining clear, so it's safe to use. And this is me testing it out. Again, I love this soap. I love the way it smells. It's just so refreshing. Um, as you can see, it easily creates those nice bubbles. It gets your skin really clean. I love the big frothy bubbles that it creates. This soap, again, it has a lot of particles in it that act as exfoliants. With the charcoal in it, it will tend to have a grayish wash off as you'll see there. So be mindful of that. And that's it, you guys. Thank you for tagging along with me to make this soap. They make great gifts. If that's what you wanna do and giving them away, you could sell these. You could use them for your family. It's just always a good idea to familiarize yourself with the practice of soap making. So hope you enjoyed this video. Come along for the next one.